This device, Bitings BMO, could be the health home gadget of the year. Let's see how it works. The idea of the medical tricorder comes from the TV series Star Trek. The idea was that a device could measure all basic vital signs and health parameters in one handheld technology. While many companies have tried to make it before, maybe Withings got it right this time. This device, Withings BMO, could be the home health gadget of the year. Let's see how it works, what we have to know about it. As always, I didn't accept any payment or sponsorship for this video. I asked for a device from Withings and they sent me one for free. That's it, but I will share my personal opinion with you as the medical futurist. What is it? This is a 4-in-1 device for personal, family and teleconsultation use. Its functions include a body thermometer, two-channel ECG, digital stethoscope for lung and heart sounds, and an oximeter for blood oxygen saturation. All the data can be transmitted wirelessly through Bluetooth to a smartphone, and of course, Wittings has a dedicated smartphone app through which we can see all the data and listen back to the heart and lung sound recordings too. It comes in a small package and it also comes with a neat red sleeve. It would also fit into a healthcare setting, even though it's not intended to be used for medical or healthcare purposes. Why does it matter? It matters a lot because the end story of the whole digital health paradigm shift is making patients the point of care. It also combines some other trends into one big pile. One is this, making patients the point of care. Second is home diagnostics, just empowering patients to access the data they already owned, but had no interfaces to access them. This is how such devices and handheld technologies can further contribute to that trend. And the third is about remote consultations. Accessing clinically important data, vital signs, health parameters, the detection of diseases in time, and being able to share all that in a way that even healthcare professionals can access and analyze them from afar. Just imagine if your child has a fever, or you don't know if it's what you're going through is a cold or something more serious, or if you want to detect a condition far in time. All these can be possible by accessing the data your body already has but you have no interfaces to access them. A short tech explanation. This is a very simple and neat device. The design I think is excellent. It's easy to change between profiles, like in a family, and after choosing one profile, it uses many sensors. There is an infrared sensor for body temperature measurement. There are two sensors here for a two-channel ECG. The third sensor is photoplethysmography, PPG, for measuring uh, blood oxygen levels. And the fourth sensor is for digital auscultation for lung and heart sounds, just this way. How does it work? That's the most exciting part, right? Well, each sensor works in a different way. If I want to measure my body temperature, I choose temperature on this screen here. Yes, and measurement in progress, 36.9. Good enough. For an ECG and blood oxygen saturation and even heart rate, I choose the ECG functionality here. Okay. Rest your fingers on these two sensors and then it shows me exactly how to adjust my fingers to be in between the green points to make sure that I apply the right amount of pressure for ECG and blood oxygen saturation plus heart rate. And in 30 seconds, it finishes the reading and sends everything to my smartphone where I can get it analyzed from afar. For the digital stethoscope functionality, I choose, of course, stethoscope. I can choose between the lungs or the heart. I choose the heart this time, and it shows me exactly where I should put the device. First, I have to put it right to this spot. It will take, I shouldn't be talking while doing this, but it will take 15 seconds to record one heart or lung sound. It does three measurements for the heart and four different spots for the lungs, and then I can listen back to each of these on my smartphone app. Price. It will launch in Europe and the US for about 250 euros or US dollars. It's not cheap, but I think it's still cheaper than most mid or high class smartwatches. Plus, I don't want to sell it to you, but if you think about buying each device one by one, it will definitely cost more than this price tag alone. Plus, as I mentioned before, other companies have tried to make it almost five, eight years ago, like Viatum, it could measure almost the same parameters. I think the cost was even higher back then. Issues and limitations. While it's amazing to have a digital stethoscope in such a neat little package without a professional's advice or AI analyzing the results, I don't see what uh, lay people can do about those recordings. Maybe the same goes for 
ECG tube. Plus, it's not approved as a medical device, therefore it doesn't replace any healthcare professional's advice and it cannot be used for diagnosing conditions. It might detect issues that you can bring as a piece of information to your healthcare professional, but it will not replace any of that traditional process. Pros and cons. First, the pros. There are some beautiful ergonomic design, family friendly. It's very easy to switch between profiles. The use was fast and intuitive. The whole installation process was simple and it has four sensors in one device. Again, a digital stethoscope, blood oxygen sensor, an ECG and body thermometer. And some cons, it's not a certified medical device yet. It's not regulated for diagnostic use. The premium package has a subscription-based option that might come with further analysis and the use of AI and teleconsultation, but it's not part of the basic package. It requires Wi-Fi connection. So when I moved it to a different place, I had to again connect it to the Wi-Fi of that place for some reason. And the digital stethoscope function has some limitations because of what lay people can do with the recordings on their smartphone. What do I think as the medical futurist? You know, well, I've tested over 150 digital health gadgets. I've seen them all. Some companies have tried to make medical tricoders. I think this is the one that comes closest to the idea that Star Trek tried to depict decades ago. The medical tricoder should be one handheld device that can measure basic vital signs and health parameters. If this device can be used anywhere without a required Wi-Fi connection, this could become the real medical tricoder. We will see how it will evolve. Of course, I will be here to comment on all these changes and share all the iterations with you in the future. So that was Vitings BMO, the medical tricoder for now. Cheers. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the digital health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.